orderly and humane legal police report. Officers arrived to find the victim later identified as Mr. Rooks in the street. He had been shot in the face and leg and was bleeding uh, severely, a report said. When emergency medical workers arrived, they pronounced him dead at the scene. Video footage obtained from doorbell cameras at several homes in the area captured at least one gunshot and showed cars fleeing the scene. Mm. Mr. Hawk has been Mr. Hawk has been charged with one count of murder. The police said in their statement, and they're still working to establish a motive for the shooting. Oh my gosh! So no motive yet. So that story has it's terrible, uh, and he's so young. He is very young. That's awful. Day. about him in a while well the story was all over yesterday uh, we didn't really talk get into it yesterday but apparently marilyn manson um has been accused of abuse mental and physical abuse that in was his, done to him uh, or that he has done no this? that he's done to his girlfriend and now jenna jameson is coming out and according to page six is saying that marilyn manson fantasized about burning her alive Okay, former adult star Janet Jameson has revealed that she dumped the accuser abuser, Marilyn Manson, because he bit her during sex and fantasized about burning her alive. Jameson, 46, told the Daily Mail about her odd fling in 1997 with a shock rocker. Now, all of a sudden, that his former ex girl's coming out, now everybody's coming out and saying all this stuff about him. Uh, he was dropped from his label Snap. as of Monday. He was also, he had another deal, I think, with uh, Lifetime or one of the other TV networks uh-huh. dropped him as well. He was also supposed to appear in another show or something. Canceled. This has all happened in the past week. So, because one person came out and recently opened up and said something, now everyone else from his past correct, is coming forward as well. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, wow. Apparently, um, Jenna Jameson says there was bruises from when he bit me. They were not fun. And the story's taken off like wildfire. Mm. She says she finally dumped him. He moved right on after I dumped him when we had that short fling. Manson came under fire, like I said, Monday. Actress uh, Evan Rachel Wood accused him of being a man who horrifically abused her for years. She says that she was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. Are they like-minded? Well, that's the thing. Are and they like-minded? Are they into the same thing? And then now, so many years later, then you... I don't know. But maybe what, Can it maybe, be that many, though? Maybe people hold stuff in and don't say it till later or until others open up. I don't know. I mean, if it was one or two... I don't know. Feel that like, oh, okay, well, they opened up, so I I feel comfortable opening up now. Yes. You know? Yeah. I think they were scared because of his fame. They're like, okay, well. Or they were threatened. If others, you know, are going to come forward, then I feel comfortable coming forward now. I just think that's a long time to hold it in or never say anything or I don't know maybe the way well the way that I look at it is that they were with Marilyn Manson so they were scared or they were threatened if you say something we'll end you or something you know oh my you know God. something like that they threaten <laughs> yeah some kind of threat yeah okay 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 and you know it's turned into a thing and then now all of a sudden all these other Gosh. oh she's saying something oh she's saying something now I'll come out and say something Mm. You know? Now, there's always been stories about Marilyn Manson, but I never knew what was true or not true. The only story that I remember about... Now, I know his music's always been a little... A little much. Like hard? Yeah, it's definitely uh-huh. it's definitely been hard, but I always thought it was the music. Mm-hmm. That was like the bit. That was his character. You know, that's okay. what I thought. All right. The, the other story that I also heard is that he was the kid from The Wonder Years. What, what kid? Which kid from the Wonder Years? You know, the not best... the main character. No, not Fred Savage. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he was the best friend of Fred Savage. Oh, okay. Is that true or not? No. 
Okay, that's not true. But that was did always a thing. Rib, did you hear the rib story about Marilyn Manson? I did hear the rib okay. story. Okay. And did oh, you Oh, God, hear, that's pretty. Yeah, I know. Oh, did you hear, like, uh. other bedroom stories, though, about him? No, but I heard the rib story. All right. And did you hear anything about the drinking of the blood story? There's always been these weird stories with Marilyn Manson. But I, again, just read these stories. I'm like, oh, is this true? Not true? I don't know him. And I don't really listen to his music that much. No, so me either. But he's just, been like a, a a pop icon or a pop yeah. star for so in, in, the, in like, the news. All right. Is this true? Not true? Is, you know, what's going on with them? I never, you know, investigated, I guess, myself. And now all this. Yeah. And we have an update Jeez. real quick about um, Le- the LeBron James feud with the girl on the sidelines who was going back and yeah, forth with yeah. him or whatever. And the husband or something. Or- yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, yeah, this yeah, is coming yeah. from the New York Post. Um, Juliana Carlos became a social media famous uh, Monday night when she was kicked out of the uh, Hawks-Lakers game mm. for screaming at LeBron James. Here we go. Okay. As she's being escorted out from the State Farm Arena, she posted a profanity lace video on Instagram ripping LeBron James. She claims James started the altercation by cursing at her husband. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chris Carlos. Um, so I'm minding my own business, and Chris has been a Hawks fan forever. He's been watching the games for 10 years, whatever. LeBron, I don't give a beep about LeBron. Anyway, I'm minding my own business, drinking my beverage, having fun, and all of a sudden LeBron says something to my husband, and I see this, and I stand up, and I go, don't beep talk to my husband, and he looks at me, and he goes, sit the beep down, you be, and go, don't beep call me a beep, okay? You sit the beep down, get the beep out of here, don't no, beep talk to my husband no. like that. <laughs> James was not overly critical of her and her group after the game, saying they might have had a couple drinks. Later on, perhaps after seeing Carlos's video, James wrote, Courtside Karen was mad mad. <laughs> was so, mad mad. So now all of a sudden, <laughs> she's developed this name, Courtside Karen. Yeah, and she was mad mad. <laughs> the internet, of course, far less kind as memes and criticism flooded Twitter, commenting on everything from Carlos's appearance to the age gap between her and her husband. All of it. So there you go. Wow. So not only are people going hard on LeBron, people are going hard on courtside Karen too. Yeah, they're they took a picture of her and her husband and they're saying, Why do men marry their granddaughters' friends and all this? Wow. You know. So So here she thought she was gonna go on social media and probably get people on her side. She wanted to go on the real housewives of uh And now at, it's yeah, Atlanta. It's a thing. So Wow. Do you have any local but stories? But did shows? LeBron say that? Sit down, you beep, and all that? Uh, so, yeah, supposedly. What? That's the story. I didn't know all of that. He said, sit the beep down, you beep. Oh, my. I don't know. Well, the guy yelled. I the don't the know. guy was like overly excited because he missed a shot. Right. So no, LeBron I know was, that. that's how I it all that. went down. LeBron was pissed. I know. But do you think he said those things? Yeah, he's a crybaby. That's right. I said it. No, he is. But I, would he say that? Yes. He would? No, I don't know. But he, oh, I, yeah, I guess so. That's crazy. I guess so. That's crazy. All right, real quick, locally here, new registration measures for vaccines. Worcester County Health Department is coming out, and they are updating how someone can register individuals for the COVID-19 vaccine clinics. And according to health officials, the previous way to register for the vaccines caused some frustration among the community, although the previous registration steps were online without a capacity limit. You can um, not make an appointment if you're eligible for it. You have to register for one. And, of course, if you are trying to get it, you can call the Worcester County Health Department at 667-253-2140. All right, so they're just going to switch up the way that you can get the vaccine there just a little bit. So, you know, come everybody calm down. They were frustrated trying to get it. Now they're going to do just one waiting list altogether. Okay, 655. We play all the hits.